In lesson 15, we saw that we can create multiple classes and can have link between the class objects and attributes. We did that for book and author class. Now in this lesson, we'll create link between student and instructor class. We know that in student class, we have method register subject which adds subjects in the courses list of the student. Now in the instructor class, we'll create a method assign course to add courses in the courses list of the instructor that he will be teaching. So students registered in a course and the course taught by an instructor must create a link between instructor and registered students. We'll do it by creating another class named as department which will have two class level attributes subject instructor and subject student. Both will be dictionaries. In subject instructor, the keys will be the subject and values will be the list of instructors teaching that course. Likewise, in subject student dictionary, keys will be the subjects and values will be the list of students registered in that subject. So basically, when register subject method will be called on a student object, that should update subject student dictionary of the department class. And likewise, when assign course method will be called on the instructor, that should update subject instructor dictionary inside the department class. We'll check these features on four students in this lesson. But in next lesson, we'll apply this on a bigger number of students by reading the data from CSV file and writing back different data on CSV file. So let's create these three classes in this lesson. Here is the student class we created in lesson number 12. Before doing anything, let's first go to the class method without group members and replace this equal to with is operator as discussed in review questions of lesson number 12. Moreover, in dunder sub method, we should replace this not equal to with is not because not equal to operator will also use the dunder equal method and we don't need that here. If you see on line number 6, the offered subjects list can be replaced by enumeration class as we did for designation of instructor class in last lesson. I'll copy subject enumeration class from another file and paste it here. So the names of the subject enumeration class are short names and values are the complete names of the subjects. In courses attribute of the student, we want to have the complete names of the subjects. So I'll change that to subject.project.value. And I should do the same in register subject method. The input subjects for this method will be subject class members, but to give the option to pass subject as string, as we did in last lesson, I'll first get the name of the object as a string. And then we'll check if that is not available inside member dictionary of the subject class, then we'll raise the exception. And if the subject is not inside the courses list of the student, we'll append that as the value of the instance of the subject enumeration class. We also need to change class method, not register subjects. Previously, we were getting the offered subjects list as cls.offered subjects. But now we need to have list of all values of the subject enumeration class. That we can create by simple list comprehension. And then use this list instead of the previous one. So now let's give it a test in main program where four students are created and then different subjects are registered for them. Note that we can pass subject as subject class member or string. Let's print the courses list of student 1. It generated error because I think I forgot to import enum class from the enum module. Now let's run it again and we have error once again. Something like must define at least one ordering operation. This is because we wrongly decorated the subject class with total ordering 
and the class has no comparison operator and hence we got the error this was meant to be for student class and now if we run the code you can see complete subjects names in the student one courses list now let's check the not registered subjects method The result is empty list because there is no subject without some student. And now you can see the two subjects with no students registered. Now I'll copy the instructor class code from the last lesson. I'll create all instructor list as empty list and whenever an instructor is created that will be appended inside it. Now I'll create assign courses method for this class to assign courses to instructor and that subject will appended into the list of courses attribute of the instructor. An instructor can be assigned more than one subjects. Please note that it is exactly what we are doing in register subject method of the student class. The attribute name of student object is underscore courses. So I can change the attribute of instructor to underscore courses. And now I can copy the same logic as of student class. Once done that, it's time to create department class. We could have detailed logic for the department class with init method to create different departments and that can have attributes like name of the department, different degree programs and things like that. But I'll keep it simple and we'll have just two dictionaries to keep the information of instructors and students against subjects. For subject student dictionary, I'll initialize it to project and value will be all students as it is a compulsory course for everyone. Now we need to update both of these. For example, for subject instructor dictionary, whenever a subject is assigned to an instructor, the information must get updated here with key as the subject and value as list of the instructors. We'll create this link in assign courses method. When a course is added to the instructor courses list on line number 45, we must add a key value pair in subject instructor dictionary. But there can be a possibility that some instructor is already assigned with that subject and the subject key is already there in the dictionary. So we should first check if the dictionary has this subject as key or not. If not, we'll add a key value pair with key as the subject and value as list having this instructor. Else means that dictionary already has that subject as key. So we'll access that dictionary element and append this instructor in that list. We need to apply same logic when subject is registered for a student and should update subject student dictionary of the department class.
Let's test it now. Six instructors are created. And again note that we can set the designation by DESI class object or a string. Instructors are assigned different courses. Note that Instructor 4 has been assigned with two courses and the course project is assigned to Instructor 4 as well as Instructor 6. Let's print all instructors and the courses assigned to them. You can verify that the correct courses are set for them. For example, Instructor 4 has two subjects in his courses list. Now let's print the two dictionaries of the department class. You can see correct instructors against each subject. For example, the subject project has two instructors. And if we see subject student dictionary, you can verify students are set against each subject correctly. One last thing I'll do is that I'll create a method inside the department class to set group members randomly for each student. It will be a static method as it doesn't need any class level data of department class. I'll import shuffle from random module. Shuffle the all students list. And then we can loop over the students with step size of 2 and use plus operator to make student at index i and i plus 1 as group member of each other. This will work fine but note carefully that if we have odd number of students, for example 5 students with index 0 to 4. The value of i in last loop iteration will be 4, which is the last index of the list all students. And then this all students i plus 1 will generate error, as we are trying to access student object after the last student in the list. So we can apply a check for odd case that this should not execute for the last iteration. By doing so, for odd number of students, the group member of last student will not be set and we can leave that to the instructor to handle that as his will and wish. We can test it in main program.
every time group members will set randomly this sends our discussion on multiple classes i'll recommend to spare a minute and just see the simplicity of this program these are so simple instructions to create students and instructors and register or assign courses for them all complex links or constraints checks etc are done inside the classes and once done that the use is so simple just imagine for a minute that we can extend the logic of department class to create different departments instead of enumeration class for subject we can have a regular class for subject with its attributes like subject code subject name credit hours pre or co requisite information then there can be a gp and cgpa calculation and maybe dmc generation mechanism so it can be a complete learning management system in general form and could be used to create any department with any course curriculum and with different instructors and students so the complex design is done once in the form of the classes and then the use is quite simple and this is the power of object oriented programming anyways we had just four students in this lesson and in next lesson we'll use our classes for more than 90 students thanks for watching